And while we are not expected to see as bad of conditions as those south of us, Ian's outer bands could still bring a lot of rain to us this weekend. So the city of Alexandria is working to protect homes and businesses from potential flooding. We know that it doesn't take much rain for neighborhoods there to flood. And we sent our Jess Arnold there live from King Street in Old Town to get a look at all the preps, Jess. Um, city leaders and business owners looks like they're not taking any chances this weekend. Absolutely. They are used to any rain potentially causing some flooding, as you mentioned. So you can see here that businesses along Union Street where we are already have sandbags lined up out front of their businesses, ready to put these up later today to stave off that rain from coming into their business. As I said, this is something that they are very used to. Take a look at this footage from back in August. It was a flash flood that actually did end up surprising some drivers, some employees of that clothing store you see trying to put tarps down. This time they say they're prepared and they will be laying down those sand bags, those tarps tonight. Now one store owner so that cars driving through standing water actually tend to pose the biggest threat for water seeping into their building, but they have some floodgates that they plan to screw in to help keep that water out. Overall, though, most businesses in this area really do have a system for when that rain rolls in. We look at the tide chart just to make sure we see what the levels are going to be, and we've been told that if it gets to a certain amount like five feet, that's when we need to worry. Now, if the area along Union Street ends up flooding, the city of Alexandria said they will be shutting down some of it to traffic to prevent that water from seeping into the buildings from the traffic driving through it. Now, the city of Alexandria also put out a tweet yesterday that they have postponed the Art on the Avenue Festival that was supposed to happen tomorrow because of this incoming weather. For now, it is scheduled for a later date in November. We'll, of course, be keeping an eye on the rain as it rolls in through our area. For now, though, I'll send it back to you. All right, Jess Arnold for us. Thank you, Jess.